In four short years of professional play, Matt Haig, also known as Nadeshot, has risen through the ranks to become one of the most prolific and recognizable players in the history of professional gaming. With over 1.6 million subscribers on YouTube and over a million followers on Twitter, he is one of the most recognizable players in esports history. I met up with him outside of Chicago to talk about his personal life, up to gaming, and his rise to esports fame. So we're at McDonald's right now. What is the significance of this specific McDonald's to you? To be honest with you, like this is where it all started. I got a job here when I was 15 because my, my mom was really on my case. I was playing video games all day and she just wanted to make sure I knew like the value of a dollar. It's like, get a job. And I'm like, mom, I'm 15, <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I was really shy when I first started and I actually made a lot of good friends here that kind of brought me out of my shell and that kind of helped propel me into like a YouTube career. So now at this time, were you actually making any money gaming or was it mostly just for fun? It was the start, you know what I'm saying? Like at the time I wasn't doing YouTube or live streaming. So like all my income was coming from tournaments. But it, in, in those times we were playing for only a couple hundred dollars and, and I wasn't winning those tournaments. So you can imagine put two and two together. So when was it that you were like, okay, Gaming is officially my job. January of 2013, we had Black Ops 2 out on the on the pro circuit. And so for whatever reason, it's like the floodgates opened and everything just started clicking and everything that I hoped was gonna work out, worked out. It, I honestly, I feel like a lot of the success I have today was just timing. You know, I hit the right wave at the right time. And I think that's what it's all about for a lot of people that are successful. Tell me about the Optic House. What is that like living with your teammates, practicing and working together pretty much 24-7, it seems like? The Optic House is an amazing place. It, it really is. Everybody that I'm actually staying with, I feel like they're my best friends. And we've just been helping each other out like throughout our careers. This probably isn't all gonna last forever, so I'm just really valuing that I have the time with my friends right now and uh, making the best out of every situation that we have together. So now growing up, what was your family like? Were they supportive of your gaming? I mean, how does that all come into play? Well, it was a little tougher at first because I had to try and sell them on the idea. I think when any parent sees their child doing something that's really out of the ordinary, you know, that's gonna raise a lot of red flags. So I can imagine what they thought about it. And I think that's the main reason why my mom made me get a job because she was worried that I was just gonna waste my life away behind my, my computer screen. Do you think she would approve? I think she would be approved now, uh, for sure. I think things have kind of taken off to a point where she wouldn't have a choice at this point. I mean, uh, just the things that I've been able to do for my family and the things that I've been able to do for myself in my career, I think she would completely understand it from my standpoint now. I'm sure she'd be very proud. Oh, thank you very much. I, I hope she would too. I, I think she would be. Now I'm just gonna cry. Oh, no, it's all good. It's part of life. I always try to tell my parents, like, this is going somewhere. I can see it. Like, I'm going to make it happen. So, like, I, I definitely wish she was around to see where it's all gone. That's the only portion of it that kind of sucks. For me, like, nobody wants to deal with their mother passing away, but that was something that I looked back from, like, a third person understood. You're going to learn from this. You know, she's, you're going to use that as, as motivation to just do better and just make her proud. And a lot of people have sent a lot of positivity my way since it's all happened. So I'm just glad that my story can help somebody else if they're going through a similar situation. And that's, that's one thing that I will always take away from my career, that I've been able to help somebody in some way. That's, that's honestly the most surreal feeling and it's humbling for sure.